Residents of Mansour Danhu are resisting moves to mine gold in the Paprama Forest Reserve in the Amansia South District of the Ashanti region. Ibrahim Bubakar visited the community and has this report. Over the years, Ghana's forest has been threatened by the activities of miners and chainsaw operators. Most of the forest reserves in the country have been depleted, intensifying the threat to climate change. Ashanti region used to be endowed with 61 forest reserves, but most of the reserves have been completely degraded and the remaining partially degraded. Government implementation of the youth in afforestation program is creating jobs, restoring degraded forests, and helping to mitigate the effect of climate change. But the destruction of forests persists, especially in mining communities. Despite a clampdown on illegal mining, the Apamprama Forest Reserve in the Amansia South District is under threat of illegal mining operations. A visit by the new steam to the reserve showed destruction of a portion of the forest cover. The youth in Mansu Odahu are angered at the allocation of a license to Heritage Imperial Company Limited, a small-scale mining firm, to prospect gold in the forest reserve. They have vowed to resist any move to mine in the natural reserve. I was once there and I saw some machines coming into the forest. I asked them and they said they are coming to do mining. I came into the forest and I saw clear that they've cleared every tree that we, we, we planted for two years now. No? This day almost, we won't allow anybody to enter the forest until we hear further notice. The chief of Mansu Adahu, Nana E.J. Kumi II, has refuted claims he connived with the mining firm to destroy the Pamprama Forest Reserve. I have no whatsoever hands in, in it because the, the mine, I don't know him. All I got to know him is when he brought the, the, the whole uh, book. As everybody does when you went to Paris. So uh, I have no hands. I don't know the mine. I'm not responsible for the forest. Uh, the forest guys are there. So if anybody said I had hands in it, it was absolutely a lie. The Bakwai Forestry Division confirmed Heritage Imperial has been granted a prospecting license in the Apamprama Forest for a period of three years. At the launch of youth in afforestation in August 2018, President Akufuado said the government is committed to protecting the forests to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 15 of halting and reserving land degradation, desertification, biodiversity loss, and to sustainably manage the forests. But achieving this goal will be a daunting task with the leasing of some forest reserves, such as the Etiwa and Apamprama Forest Reserves, for mining. Residents of Mansu Adahu have vowed to resist any attempt to mine in the Apampram Forest Reserve. Well, what they are saying is that they will risk their lives to protect this natural resource which has been untouched for centuries. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3, Mansoor Down. Now let's stay a bit further on this. We have on the phone Ibrahim Abubakar, who is one of our, our regional correspondents in the Ashanti region, to tell us uh, more on this. Ibrahim, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening, Aisha. Uh, tell us how mining there has affected water bodies in the area. Well, Aisha, I can confirm to you that um, despite the ban on illegal mining, um, if you go to the area, um, illegal mining is going on there. The Oda River, which has several communities within the Amansia South District, has been polluted. You enter deep in the forest and you realize that some people are engaging in illegal mining activities. Now, um, the residents say they were accusing the district chief executive for allowing such people to come there. I tried to speak to him. He wouldn't speak to the matter. He referred me to the Forestry Commission. But now they are saying that they will not allow anybody, no matter who the person is, whether 
he was given permission from the presidency or wherever. They would not allow the person to continue destroying the forest. Because for them, they have invested so much in planting several trees. I even spoke to some of the um, residents who, were, who are part of the Youth in Afforestation program, and they told me that they planted a lot of trees. And at least it is a source of joy for them to see that these are the trees that they've planted. But what they are witnessing is that um, they've seen some excavators cutting down the trees. And what, when they inquired, they were told that um, a mining firm, Heritage Imperial, has been granted a prospecting license to go and prospect for gold there. So that is the situation. Yesterday evening, there was a bit of a tension there. Um, some policemen stormed the area, arrested two of the um, residents and sent them to police station. As, as I'm speaking to you now, um, they were granted bill some few minutes ago. Um, we are trying to speak with the police commander in the district. Um, we, are having it, we are having difficulty in getting him, but we will push further. So we want to know exactly why these people are arrested despite um, fighting to preserve their forest um, resources. Definitely, Ibrahim. We'll be counting on you to give us the updates on that particular one. Ibrahim Abubakar is our, our Ashanti regional correspondent.